Today we are testing your English skills to find your level. If this is your first test with me, then you should consider starting at the beginning and working your way up to here. I'll put a link in the description for the first test. But if you've done all the other tests, then let's get started. If you can confidently and correctly answer all of the questions in this video, then you have achieved your C2 level, which is the highest level in English. At this stage, you should be able to communicate the same in English as you do in your native language. You're definitely bilingual and maybe even fluent. I'm going to start off by reading you a speech by the actress Anne Hathaway. She is speaking in front of the United Nations on International Women's Day in 2017. The link for her actual speech is going to be in the description below if you would prefer to watch her giving the speech. Now, pay close attention because after we've heard the speech, I'll ask you some questions about it. Let's go. When I was a young person, I began my career as an actress. Whenever my mother wasn't free to drive me into Manhattan for auditions, I would take the train from suburban New Jersey and meet my father, who would have left his desk at the law office where he worked, and we would meet under the upper platform arrival and departure sign in Penn Station. We would then get on the subway together, and when we surfaced, he would ask me, which way is north? I wasn't very good at finding north in the beginning, but I auditioned a fair amount, and so my dad kept asking me, which way is north? Over time, I got better at finding it. I was struck by that memory yesterday while boarding the plane to come here. Not just how far my life has come since then, but how meaningful that seemingly small lesson has been. When I was still a child, my father developed my sense of direction, and now, as an adult, I trust my ability to navigate space. My father helped give me the confidence to guide myself through the world. In late March last year, I became a parent for the first time. I remember the indescribable and, as I understand it, pretty universal experience of holding my weak old son and feeling my priorities change on a cellular level. I remember I experienced a shift in consciousness that gave me the ability to maintain my love of career and also cherish something else, someone else, and so much, much more. Now, if you'd like to listen to that speech again, you can do that now. Just go back to this time in the video or watch Anne Hathaway doing it. Her link is in the description. Now, I will ask you some questions. You can pause the video after the question to write your answer. Once you've written your answer, play the video and I'll tell you the correct answer. At this level, your answer will slightly differ from mine, but it should be along the same lines. If you're unsure about it, put it in the comments along with the question number and I will let you know if you are right or wrong. Okay, number one. What series of events caused Anne to meet her father at Penn Station? And the answer? When she had an audition in the city as a child, but her mother was not available to go with her. So her father would leave work early and meet her in the city. Number two. We would then get on the subway together, and when we surfaced, he would ask me, which way is north? In this sentence, please explain what is meant by the word surfaced. And the answer? In this context, the word surfaced means once they came back up to street level after being underground using the subway. Number three. How does Anne say that learning the answer to the question, which way is north, helped her? The answer? My father developed my sense of direction and now, as an adult, I trust my ability to navigate space. 
My father helped give me the confidence to guide myself through the world. So you could have included in your answer that it taught her a valuable skill, which helps her to feel confident and self-assured in her adult life. Number four. Anne's speech goes on to discuss the lack of support for parents in America due to no paid maternity or family leave regulations and the fact that many parents are scared to take time off work for family reasons because studies show that it decreases their chances of a promotion as employers perceive them to be less committed to their work. Why do you think Anne chose to begin her speech with this particular story? I think that the story demonstrates how quality time with her father at a young age has made a difference in the way that Anne has grown up. It shows that quality time between parents and children is so valuable and that those lessons have set her up to be more confident in herself as an adult. This could be particularly effective as Anne Hathaway is a very successful woman. So to see her discussing how time with her father helped her to become the woman that she is today could emphasize the importance of the lessons we learn from our parents. Number five, I'm going to read a phrase three times. Each time the grammar will be slightly different. Which of these three phrases uses correct grammar throughout? A. I was striking by that memory yesterday while boarding the plane to come here. B. I was struck by that memory yesterday while boarding the plane to come here. C. I was struck by that memory yesterday while boarded the plane to come here. The correct answer is B. I was struck by that memory yesterday while boarding the plane to come here. Question six. Anne goes on to describe the way she felt once having her own baby. She describes the feeling as a universal experience. What does she mean by this? A universal experience is an experience that is shared by everybody. She means that she believes every parent feels the same way towards their child. Number seven. I felt my priorities change on a cellular level. What does Anne mean by this? On a cellular level means that she felt the change to her core. Everything about her entire life and her entire being shifted on a cellular level. Number eight. During the speech, Anne comes across as very confident. How do you think she does this? She speaks slowly and with good enunciation, stands up straight and looks around at the people she's speaking to. I'm going to read you a short extract from later on in the same speech where Anne is discussing the societal expectations of men and women and how they differ. Again, if you'd like to see Anne Hathaway doing it, I'll link it in the description. In order to liberate women, we need to liberate men. The assumption and common practice that women and girls Look after the home and the family is a stubborn, very real stereotype that not only discriminates against women, but limits men's participation and connection within the family and society. These limitations have broad ranging and significant effects for them and for the children. We know this. Why do we continue to undervalue fathers and overburden mothers? Number nine. In your own words, explain what Anne could be referring to about men and about women in the last question. Why do we continue to undervalue fathers and overburden mothers? When she discusses undervaluing fathers, she could be referring to the expectation that men will spend all of their time at work because that is where they are perceived to be the most useful, rather than creating a happy and balanced family environment. 
Overburdening mothers could be a result of that exact same attitude, that women are often expected to do everything around the house, when some women also want to have a successful and fulfilling career, and have time to raise a family. You could say that those problems are two sides of the same coin. Number 10. What is meant by that phrase? Two sides of the same coin. In this context, the phrase two sides of the same coin means that they are two issues which stem from the same core problem or attitude. That is officially the end of the test. Congratulations. If you answered those questions correctly and confidently, that means you are now at C2 level English. How does it feel to be at the top? If you have any questions or any answers that you would like to have me to look at, then do be sure to leave a comment and I'll correct any mistakes as and when I have a chance. Thank you for watching and do stick around.